Hi, you must be... Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. My first thought is that this is a setup, that Keelan somehow planned it as another layer of vengeance for me flirting with David that one time, or that my roommates have discovered I'm the snack cake thief, and that it was me who broke the stove that time and decided to give me my comeuppance. Jay stares back at me, horror all over his face. Shit, he whispers. Yup. I stick my hands in my pockets and discover the remaining half of my breakfast, so I pull it out and take a bite. Did you just... Never mind. He looks slightly revolted now. Maybe he's one of those healthy eating people. This is totally awkward, I say, because it is. I've never had to spend a weekend in a car with a guy I hooked up with the night before. What are we going to talk about? Work, I guess. Clean slate, he blurts. I look around. Is he asking me to clean something? Slate, that's a type of stone, right? I only recently stopped using my translator spell, but I'm starting to think it might have been too soon. These earth people have some weird idioms and expressions. He must see my confusion, because he takes a deep breath and says... Sorry, what I meant to say was, let's put the past b behind us. His face burns red, and I just know he's remembering being behind me last night. And start fresh, like we're just meeting for the first time. I'm Jaden Cole from Pennington Real Estate. Hagen Draco. I lift my non-food holding hand in a little wave. Draco is the name most dragons adopted when we got here and found out we needed a last name. There aren't that many of us, so it's fine that only a few picked a different one. Great to meet you. I'd offer to shake hands, but you seem... occupied. He eyes the almost-finished cake in my right hand, and the cream smeared over my fingers. Want some? I offer, holding it toward him. I'm kidding, of course, but the disgust on his face as he stumbles back a step makes me wish I had my phone out to take a picture. Um, no thanks. I, I wouldn't want to deprive you of your breakfast. We won't be stopping for lunch until early afternoon. His babbling is cute, but over the top. I mean, does he really think he needs to make an excuse not to eat the remaining smushed bite of processed cake that I'm going to need to lick off my hand? Oh, he's trying not to offend me. As it clicks in my brain that Brandt will be spending a lot of money, and my new friend Jaden really wants a cut of that, I smile at him. This is going to be fun.